Guys, I actually clicked go live today. I'm here on Twitch Mobile. Ew! Ew! Even though like 60% of my viewers watch on mobile. Ew! Hi, Keelan. Can we get some yo's? I'm gonna act so offended this stream if my tree gets less than a 3 out of 10. And I'm also on mobile. Hi, Mins. Thank you for submitting last minute. I saw. Guys, big drama. You guys can no longer submit to Naughty or Nice. I'm sorry. Wait, why is, why is the chat prop? Wait, the font... Is the font different? Wait... The font's different, right? Oh no. Let me fix that. I had to update my JChat because it was frozen earlier. I think I chose the wrong font. Ew. Did this one? No. Robo- Oh, it is the wrong font. Okay. Hide commands, hide special band, stroke, medium, shadow, oh medium, no stroke, off stroke, enemy, fade after 120. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna fix it. It's so blocky. Okay, watch this. I'm gonna fix this live. Because I hate change. No! See, look, the badges don't show up. Why is it glitching? Oh. Okay, do we want badges or weird font? Honestly, probably weird font is better. Little squares are cute? No! You know why you like them? Because you don't have any badges in chat mint, so now you feel like you are included. Sue them easy? We're gonna do weird font today. Weird font. Anyway, I gotta post that I'm alive. Guys, I'm alive. Who is on winter break? Type 1. Yeah, fun fact, I graduated college, um, <laughs> six months ago. <laughs> oh my god. And what have I accomplished? A lot. Because I stream, I'm a full-time streamer. <laughs> um, one minute and then I'll turn face cam on, no joke. That stream was that long ago, I remember that day. I think I did the I'm a full-time streamer stream in July, but that's still like five months ago. I know, it's crazy to think about, huh? You know, I guess that means we've passed the three-month test. You know when you break up with your boyfriend after three months because you find out that they're like a psycho? Just me, anyway. <laughs> The font, the font is like, it's too bold. The white is too bold. Guys, I'm live. Hello. Good afternoon. Good evening. Hope everyone is doing well today. It's December 20th. I haven't gone live in four days. You want to know why? Big drama. Also, hi, Keelan. Welcome in, Mint. Hope you guys are doing well today. Okay. Big drama. Actually, there, there's like no drama. <laughs> Um, anything? Five days till Christmas? I know, we haven't- I bought an advent calendar, because you guys were begging for me to get one for December. And I've only done it like twice on stream. It's because like, I don't want to eat too much chocolate. Okay, well, what did I do yesterday? <laughs> yesterday, dude! Okay, so... I streamed on 
Sunday? I streamed on Sunday or Saturday? Oh yeah, I streamed Saturday. Sunday I edited. Monday? Monday was my sister's first day of work, so I wanted to make sure she, like, got to work properly, because it was, like, a new bus route she has to take. So I, I spent the majority of the day helping her Monday. Tuesday was yesterday, right? Dude! <laughs> Yesterday was I was feeling so expresso that I stayed in bed all day. It was so bad Cuz like I'm the type of person to where everything can be good Like I did errands yesterday morning. Everything was good. Everybody that I interacted with was like super nice um, But then like one bad not even a horrible thing like somebody said like like something offhanded like, a joke didn't hit, and I took it the wrong way, and I got, like, so sad. And I stayed in bed all day. Dude, we love depression. But I'm feeling better today. It is December 20th. We are officially five days away from Christmas. My favorite is Christmas. Is Christmas my favorite holiday? Maybe. M mainly because, like, I like the presents, I'll be honest. Is today the naughty or night nice stream? Dude, read the title. I, I swear, Ethan comes in the chat is like, I I just don't read the title. I click on the stream. But no, we're doing that. Let me look at my notes. Probably Friday or Saturday. Or maybe tomorrow. I don't know. But welcome in, Ethan. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Today, the plan is simple. I'm going to be roasting your guys' Christmas trees. Some of you submitted them in the Naughty or Nice quiz or DM'd me pictures on Twitter and Instagram. So we're going to be roasting your guys' trees and adding some more custom decorations to my tree. So last year I painted a few ornaments. I think I did six. I'm not doing six this year. It was like a four hour stream. I'm going to be decorating maybe two or three ornaments this year to add to my tree look. Here, I'll, you guys are going on a field trip. See the... This green one is a custom one I made. This one right here. Oh no, this red one with gems. I made that one. <laughs> Ethan just clicks whenever you're live while closing their eyes. Yep. I don't like looking at people who are bad at Mario Kart. I'm, I'm not that bad. I'm, I'm like, I'm slightly above average, but I'm not like fantastic, okay? I love the star. Stop schmoozing. You say something rude, and then you say something nice thinking that it'll work. I don't like this. Can we break up? <laughs> also, I did my nails on, I think I did these Monday. I did, it's not focusing. Wait, let me get out of frame. Holy, look at that. I did a French tip, because my nails aren't like super long. And dude, I remember why I haven't done French tip in forever. So I did like a clear coat, and then a very light silver shimmer, and then red tips. As you can see, my ring finger is kind of green. It's because whenever I do like a full polish, it stains my nails, because these are natural. They're not like press-ons. So yeah, I, I think they look cute. But <laughs> I was I made Alfredo this morning and I, I shaved off part of my middle finger. See? Somebody's gonna get a little more flavor in their serving. <coughs> Anything else? I think we can get started. Today the plan is simple. <laughs> I need to stop saying that. I don't wanna look like a Ludwig fan. Not that it's like bad to be a Ludwig fan, but like I don't wanna be a copycat. Oh wait, last thing, gentle reminder, guys, today is the last day. If you are feeling generous, if you cheer more than 300 bits, today is the last day. Twitch will match up to 10%, so if you cheer 300 bits, um, Twitch will give me, me, yes me, an extra 30 cents. Holy moly. So guys, if you want to help support the stream, cheer more than 300 bits today and Twitch will match up to 10%. Last day. I should have streamed more... Within the, when the when the promo was going on, but I didn't. Ludwig, the streamer or the Mario character? The streamer, obviously. Dude, Ludwig is still my favorite. I've been watching him for 
I think three years now, because I started watching him at the very end of 2020. Still the goat. Where's my water? I need my water. <clears throat> Why is- the white balance is so fucked. Okay, now, I think it's time to get started. Everybody say hi, YouTube, because I will edit today's stream either this week or for next week's video. Everybody say hi, YouTube. Okay. <laughs> I need to start writing a script for, like, the intro. Looking at my viewfinder. <laughs> okay. You guys submitted your wait. I have a better. I have a better intro. Okay. I showed you my Christmas tree. Now it's time for you to show me yours. I had my viewers submit pictures of their Christmas tree online, on Twitter, and on Instagram. Today we're going to be reviewing them on stream together. And by review, I mean roast, because some of them are absolutely horrid. Let's get started. Okay, was that good? <laughs> also, this bad boy is still here. It's still here. Okay, Animal Crossing music. Okay, guys, ready? I made a little presentation for you guys. <laughs> Today, we are going to be roasting your guys' Christmas trees. And as it says, I will be mean. I'm gonna be honest, I don't care about your feelings. If your tree is bad, I'm gonna tell you that your tree is bad. Okay? This is gonna be funny. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> imagine. Imagine this is just like the most unfunny stream I've ever done. My tree has anxiety. Be nice. Maybe. Okay, first, I need to make this bigger so I can see. First, we must figure out what is a Christmas tree. So a Christmas tree is typically an evergreen, often a pine, spruce, or fir, decorated with lights and decorations or and ornaments as a part of Christmas festivities. The modern Christmas tree that we see in America originated in Western Germany. It was taken to North America by German settlers as early as the 17th century. Christmas trees were the height of fashion by the 19th century. Credit this is from Britannica.com. It was actually really interesting learning about the history of Christmas trees because for, I think it said in Egypt and then some European and Asian countries, like evergreens symbolize like, not eternal life, Wait, I need to look it up. I need to not spread misinformation. <laughs> I didn't realize I was back at school coming to the stream. You know, I just need to tag educational. That's what this channel is. It's comedy and education. Okay, Christmas tree origin. <laughs> Wait. Okay, the use of evergreen trees, reeds, and garlands to symbolize eternal life was a custom of the ancient Egyptians, Chinese, and Hebrews. I, I was kind of close. Eternal life. Does that mean you live forever? Okay, so now we know a little bit about Christmas trees. So, what actually makes a good tree? Now, this is what I'm going to be grading you guys on. And just in general, like what, in my opinion, is a good tree. So first, the tree must have height. You know, we girlies, we don't like short men. <laughs> no matter, you gotta be tall. You gotta be tall. I will take into consideration if it's a real or a fake tree. It can go either way, because if it's real, then that's like charming. But if it's a fake tree, then you like are hashtag save the trees. And if you're a real tree buyer, you're like hashtag I hate trees because I kill one every year. I'm a tree murderer. That's a long hashtag. Okay. Um, ornaments. Is it full or is it scarce? 
Lights? Like what color lights? Do I think they flash? Are they working? Next, the actual topper on the tree. Are you gonna do a classic star or something more original? And then finally, is it creative? I don't wanna see no basic treats. You know, I'm an artist. I wanna see a little bit of oomph um, with you guys' trees. And I think my last credential is the green line test. Does your tree lean? I don't want no beta trees. We only want... Okay. I don't want no beta trees. We only want alpha trees. We are an alpha chat room. <laughs> Wait, did I spell creative wrong? No, I didn't, you jerk. I spelled it right. Dude, stop gaslighting me. Oh my god. Okay, I thought the green line test bit was hilarious. I was like, I was writing on bits, and that was like my my banger, okay? Okay, I think... I think we can look at our first tree. Oh, wait, I forgot mince was first. <laughs> wait. Wait. One sec, my sister texted me, pause. Ew, get this off my screen. Um, you said you don't look at the stream anyway, Ethan. Oh man, definitely not a crowd favorite. Don't worry. Only my opinion matters today. Okay, so this is Mint's from Twitch tree. Wait, this is Ottoman48 from Twitch's tree. Now, this one was submitted last minute. Don't worry, that will not affect your actual grade. Looking at this... What is up with the picture? It's so blurry. It's like so washed out. This is like, who's the director that just does lens flares? That's what I, it's giving lens flares. What I do like is that, I, okay, this has to be an artificial. Ain't no way a tree is this small and developed. So, I really like how there's like little lights on every single end of every branch. It's really cute. It's in a pot. Did you grow it yourself? No, that's fake. I see a little cable on the bottom. Wait, I wish you guys could see my cursor. There's literally a cord. I don't- Okay, I see lights, but I don't see any globos. I don't see any ornaments. You're, you're missing, like, a key factor. And also, your picture, it crops off the top. Do you even have a topper? That's, like, two out of five things missing. My dad made the base of- Omega Dance. Hold. 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 I gotta find my camera. I'm back. Okay, where was I? Okay, as you can see, it's cropped at the top. I don't know if you did that on purpose, if you're trying to hide the fact that you don't have a topper, but that in itself is sus. All in all, it's cute for what it is. I assume it's like this tall. It, not many ornaments can fit on a tree that's like a foot tall, so I think it's good for what it is. Out of 10... I would give it a high 4, a 4.9. All you need is ornaments. If you put, like, one globe on it, I would give it a 5. But thank you, Mint, for submitting. Moving on. Next. We have Dino Crystal 20 from Twitch's Tree. This one? It's cute. It's rustic. They have a bow on top. Adorable. Cute. 
I do not like how the bow is like so big. I don't know. It's a bit gaudy. It's a bit extra. I'll say it. They have lights. They have ornaments. The only thing. Wait, I need to like look. I'm looking. I don't know if they have like other ornaments on it. It could be just like little globes. It looks a little slanted. I'm getting there. I think this is kind of a beta tree. I don't think this is not an alpha tree and we don't like alphas. Oh, no, we love alphas. Okay. You know, what I would love to see is more color on this tree. It just has red and green and green does not green ornaments does not look good on a green tree. It's too similar. Even if red and green are contrasting colors, I want a bit more. Like if there was more if they had gold ornaments or maybe some silver, I think that would look nice. But there's not enough I, I want more. It's so close. I just want more. Hi, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hi, X decision. Thank you for clocking into work. Everybody clock in if you haven't already. Okay. Final deduction. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. I overslept. Don't worry. I'm late too, honey. Don't worry. But welcome in. Thank you for watching. I wouldn't mind if they went more with bows. I would love that too. Because my mom, we had like like traditional garlands for the tree. And then she had like a ribbon set. So it would have like, it was like a large or a super long garland made out of like really thick ribbon. So it would be like a string ribbon and then a bow. And it was really pretty. Like if they had, I think garlands would make this great. Out of 10... You know, this is a pretty decent tree near the beginning. I would say a solid 7. You know, it needs a bit more. It's got the basics. It's got lights. It's got globes. It's got a topper. An original topper. I want more. Give me more. Give a 4? Dude, I gave Mint a 4 and they just had lights. <laughs> Did I watch the new Percy Jackson? No. I want to see the Heron movie, though. I might see it next weekend? Possibly? Wait, didn't this song just play? Oh. For some reason, I thought this song played already. Okay. Next tree. We have Not Mac Zero from Twitch's tree. This one, cute. Another beta tree. This one is like so visibly leaning because of the topper. I assume this is another fake tree. I do see some batteries at the base. I do think this is the first tree skirt we've seen. Now, I don't think tree skirts are like required. I think they're kind of unnecessary. You don't need to buy a skirt. You just need like a blanket. A blanket that you don't use, or a blanket that you use when you have, like, friends come over, just use that. You don't need a skirt. It's a waste. Or that's the argument I used when my sister wanted to justify buying, like, a $20 skirt. But this tree, it's cute. I assume it's, like, 6 inches, you know, average size. <laughs> it's so cute how it's visibly leaning so much. Editor put a green line. It's, like, so curved. Okay. If you look a little bit closer, they do have like little felt ornaments and it does match the tree skirt. That is very cute. I love a theme. Also, I like how it's a rainbow light, you know, gauge we're representing. I would love more on the tree. Just because it's small doesn't mean you can't like fill it up. Okay? I want to see more on it. <clears throat> oh wait, it does it has like a very Tiny garland wrapped around it. Kind of looks like pipe cleaners. <laughs> Wait. I know Mac works at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> what if... What if they just use, like, door... What if they just got stuff from the Dollar Tree? Wait. Making a Christmas tree using only Dollar Tree ornaments. It's like those videos where you see... I made a gourmet meal with Dollar Tree. But we're gonna make a fantastic tree with Dollar Tree. The plushies in the background look bigger than the actual tree. I mean, the tree is... They're really zoomed in. They're doing a little bit of foreshortening. And no, having the plushies in the back will not help your score. I'm sorry. 
It's giving car wash spinner. <laughs> I've never been in a car wash, so I don't know what that means. I mean, Dollar Tree sells mini trees now. My sis got one. Okay, valid. Valid. You know, Christmas on a budget, no shame. Just don't buy groceries from the Dollar Tree if you are able to not. Like, just don't. I tried salmon and steak from the Dollar Tree. It's not it. It's not good. You know what else is not good? Watching my channel and not following. Make sure, guys, if you're new here, click follow, because we are 30 minutes in the stream. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Hi, Mac. Also, Ethan, I you asked like five minutes ago, can you submit your tree? The answer is no. You guys had a fucking week. You guys had a week to DM me on Twitter and then two weeks with the quiz. So, no. The reason why I'm not... Oh, hi, Mac. You're gonna get your final verdict in a second. The reason why I'm not accepting pictures today um, is because... You know, I know Photoshop, I know how to edit pictures, and I know how to hide things in pictures. So, I'll go- I'll do a Photoshop stream one day and I'll- I'll explain this more in detail. But like, I don't want people to hide shit in a picture and then I get in trouble. Like, I- I heavily vetted all the pictures. Like, I did edits, I did filters. I- I know what to look for. So, that's why I'm not accepting anything last minute. I got the tree from Target, the decor from Dollar Tree. Oh my god, dude, we called it! We called it! My room is very small, so my tree has to go in my bed. What? Why? That's that's so silly. I I think that's just an ind another indicator that you're like still sadly single, Mac. It's a cute tree. Yeah, it's cute, but like it's not like amazing. Also, hi, Kim. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Okay. The final verdict on this tree. Now, size is a big factor in your score, but composition-wise... I would say a six. It's got lights, it's got garlands, I love garlands. I just- I want more baubles, I want more bulbs, I want more of those little felt ornaments. It would be very cute. I think it's hilarious whenever trees are just like covered in so many ornaments. Like, I think this tree would be really funny if you put like five like regular sized globes. I think that would be so funny. I didn't want to show our family tree. Oh, okay, valid. <laughs> I'm not single, I'm married to your mom. Dude, when did the divorce happen? I'm sad. Okay, so that was Max Tree. Um, we have a handful left, guys. Next tree. This one, insane. I was shocked. I was, I genuinely thought this was like a stock image. This is from Vengeance VX on Twitter. Insane. And if you zoom in, editor zoom in, bottom right, there's a game. <laughs> there's a game box on the floor. <laughs> Who's rich? I mean, all you gotta do is, like, spend $500 one year, and then you can use the same decorations every year. This tree, absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. That looks straight out of Pinterest, and I know, it's crazy. I I don't know if this... Okay, the, obviously this photo is, like, color-corrected. Like, everything has a blue hue. Like, you can see, like, one of the presents is gold. So I, I do wonder if everything is, like, naturally gray or blue. The walls in the house are also blue, so it's, it's color corrected. Also, there's like a little Santa guy. I don't- he's in the corner. I don't like him. It's kind of scary. You know what this- <laughs> the moment I saw this picture, I immediately thought of- you know the mom who like painted the kids like Christmas tree toy to match her like aesthetic of her room? So she painted like the bright green, bright red, bright yellow toy to like this really dull brown and green. It's giving that. This is like your mother wants the house to look a certain way and you just have to like ride with it. Blue, honey, that's pink and white. Um, guys, type one if I should just ban Ethan. I'll do it. If you guys want me to, I'll do it. <laughs> 
<laughs> One day it will happen, Ethan. One day. And also, I'm not colorblind. I'll take a quiz one day. I'll prove to you guys that I'm not colorblind. <laughs> one question mark? <laughs> you know what? I'll do it. Just kidding. Just kidding. You know, I bet that's what he wants. Like, secretly. He wants to get in trouble. Okay. Now let's actually break down this tree. Visually, I think this tree is perfect. This tree is beautiful. I love how there's varied size of ornaments. There's one that look like they're six inches big and then like two inches big. I love the variety. It looks like the tree is like fully filled. Like there's not many empty spaces. There's lights on like the inside of the tree and the outer branches. This is beautiful. The only like bad thing is you can see that the tree touches the ceiling. They, do they have a topper? I think the topper is an angel. But this tree looks like it got circumcised. It it doesn't have all of it. And you know what? I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 for that reason. It's visually perfect. I love seeing the reflection in the window. But it looks like you snipped off like 4 inches off the tip. And I don't think the tree liked that. <laughs> as long as it's not a permanent ban? No, no, no. We joke. But you're my favorite streamer? Thank you. Okay, next. Honestly, this tree is beautiful. The only thing bad about it is that it doesn't look like it has a homey feel. Like, this looks like something you'd see in a Target or a Macy's. Like, in the display window. Like, I, I don't see this, like, in, like, a household that has, like, kids. That tree is so pretty. <laughs> that tree is so pre I know, it is pretty. Hi, go, Bobo. Can we get some yos? Hello. Thank you for the resub. With Prime? Ain't no way. Thank you, Go Bobo. Oh, wait, can we get some Wool Bobos and Yo's? I forgot. Okay. Next tree. <laughs> okay. This one? I, I blurred out the window, and there's also like a tiny ornament. You can see in the center that's blurred. It had like a child's face on it, so I just preemptively blurred it. You know, I don't know who that is. It looked like a meme picture, but it could have been like their cousin. So I just blurred it proactively. So this person DM'd me. This was uh, Len, Len Art Vander 20 on Instagram. They don't watch this stream. They're going to watch this on YouTube. Hello. Um, they DM'd me the picture and they were like, hey... Half the lights don't work on my tree. I think it'd be funny to roast Lamau. And honestly, if they wouldn't have told me that, I wouldn't have noticed that half the trees are out. Guys, can I slice some potatoes? Okay, thanks. Thank you, Mac, for the resub. How many months have you done the just keyboard spamming bit? How many months have you done it? But thank you for the resub, Mac. 19 months? Holy shit. That's a long time. But thank you. Can we get some wax in chat? Pause. Everybody. We are so close to a hype train. If we have one more person subscribe or cheer bits or sub with Prime, we will get a hype train. Until the end of the year, there are new exclusive hype train emotes at all 1 to 5 levels. So if you want emotes, we need one more person to donate. Okay, back to it. Dude, it's so stupid. Okay. Do you do you guys think they just like ran out of lights? Cuz you know, there's been a few years when like the lights would just go out on the tree, but then we would fix it. But this looks like they just, like, forgot to put on the bottom string of lights. They just got tired. They spent all day putting up garlands. They just didn't put on the bottom half. Wait, I also noticed... <laughs> only, like, the... They only put ornaments on half of the bottom half of the tree. Five out of ten for half a tree? I'm thinking that too, man. What are they doing? <laughs> it's like mom and dad got tired and they left it to the kids. And the kids are just on their iPads. They don't want to play. They don't want to help. 
I do like, it seems like it has like a more rustic feel. I assume this is a real tree. You know, white and red baubles. I can't tell what the topper is. I think it's a metal star. You're right, there is no garland. I would, this would look, since this tree is kind of empty, this would look lovely with like a silver or a gold garland. You also don't have a tree skirt. I think if you have the tree on the floor, you kind of need to have a skirt. I know I said I'm a skirt hater, but you kind of need it. Like for the real trees, I think it's more fitting. Because like a tree skirt would like theoretically catch like the bristles or the nettles. So yeah. Does Prime Sub count for a hype train? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Okay. They have a lot of key elements, but literally half of their tree, more like a third, a third of their tree is not fully decorated. I would be more forgiving if like just the lights were out, but half of that said third does not have ornaments. You know, they just gave up. So ultimately, Aesthetically, I like this tree. If I had garlands and it was fully decorated, I would give it like an eight and a half. But since it's not fully decorated, I'm gonna give it a seven. You're, you're so close. Just finish the goddamn tree. <laughs> Hi, train. Ain't no way. Is this the first time Ethan is subscribing in my chat? It's a Christmas miracle. Thank you, Ethan, for the sub with Prime. Nine months? Wait. A sunflower bad shatter? Ain't no way. Is Ethan a wholesome viewer? But thank you. Can we get some Weethans in chat? It asked you to resubscribe. No, you probably got gifted eight times, you bozo. Okay, guys, pause. Pause. We have a hype train in the chat. You, if you subscribe, cheer bits. Sub with Prime or gift subs. Wow. I just heard an ornament smash in the hallway. What are they doing? Anyway, if you do any of those four things, you have a chance to earn Twitch exclusive Twitch exclusive emotes. Does anybody have any hype emotes in the chat themselves? You know, I think I have most every hype train emote besides the new ones. Any hypers in chat? Where's the emote? You get it once the hype train is done. Also, gentle reminder, if you cheer more than 300 bits, then I will get an extra 10% courtesy of Twitch. So guys, now's the time to cheer bits. So thank you. Thank you to Mac, Kobobo, and Ethan for starting the train. Okay, what did I read this? I rated this 7 out of 10. Um, do better. Just do better. Hey, next tree. Oh my god, this one. Okay, this tree is from Computer Forum 4 on Instagram. You know what? I think this is the six inches they cut off of Vengeance's tree. What is this? What is this? This has to be a joke. This is like the desk you'd keep on your office. Wait, no, sorry. Reset. I switched the words. This is like the tree you keep on your office desk to feel festive and like maybe as like a conversation starter or to feel like so you don't get fired for not showing like Christmas spirit. But dude, <laughs> it's a vibe. You're coping. You're hopping straight coping right now, man. What's up with those small trees? You know, 2023 has been rough. Um, Bidenomics, we're all broke. It was for my desk. Okay, good. If, if this was like your family tree. Just quit. The tree is really trying. Okay, let's break this down. One, there is no topper. This picture is literally so low res. The picture is like this big. Like it was a one by two inch picture. I, I tried to edit it so it'd be like more crisp, but it didn't look good. It does have lights, but they took the picture when the tree is the only thing being lit, so it looks- it's giving lens flare, and I don't like lens flare. 
They do have- I love the tiny bubbles that people put on the tree. I think it's really cute. No garland, no topper. It- it- it deadass looks like you just cut it off of another tree and put it on your desk. I- I don't think I have anything else to say. It's giving Hades- yeah, it's kind of scary how it's just like a red light. It is a bit scary. I've come to my final verdict. One out of ten. I will not explain further, no comments. Okay, this I think is our final tree. Our final tree. Also, we have one minute left on the high train if you want a chance to get exclusive emotes. Subscriber cheer bits right now. I'm happy, thank you. You're welcome. Wait, did I give it a one or a two? I think I gave it a one. <laughs> Okay, the final tree from Keelan underscore on Twitter. This, I think, looks ethereal. It could be color correction, but I love trees that have silver. I think silver it gives it a more cooler tone. It's not as warm. I got to say aya, yeah, yeah. Why are you doing the aya aya? I don't have the emote enabled. But thank you for the 500 bits, Keelan. Can we get some wheelins in chat? Thank you. Plus five, everybody. Thank you. Level hype train one complete. Can we keep it alive? Thank you, Keelan. Can we get some wheelins in chat? Thank you, hon. Were you waiting for your silly tree for attention? Oh, wait, you wanted that to get into the highlight, didn't you? <laughs> it reminds me of Taylor Swift. I mean, does this tree have tinsel? Let me zoom in. Enhance. I don't think it has tinsel. Okay, let's do a deep dive. They have a tree topper. Silver star matches the overall look and aesthetic. Very nice. It would be cute if the star lit up, but I think it's just pure metal. I like how it's primarily like a white and a very dull red color scheme. But they have some white. They, I see one single blue ornament. I love the color variety in this. This is so cute. And you're right. I think there are some like actual bloom glass ornaments on this tree. It looked like all the others had just like simple baubles. But this has a lot more variety. I think this this seems like a family tree. Like you're collecting ornaments over the years. This is a family tree. And I love it. Yeah, there's like letter ornaments too. I see it. Wait. There's a C, a K, and an N. Dude, my sister and I have matching initials. This tree would be very problematic if all of your guys' names start with a K. That would be very scary. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> okay. I think something that would make this tree great is if they had like a very small strand of garland. Or if they have like actual tinsel, I think this one would look really cute. This is a really nice tree. I'm not I'm not glazing you up. I personally really like this one. Uh, I don't know. They do all start with a K. <laughs> Good thing you didn't put all the initials on the tree. There is a garland on it? Really? Oh, wait, I see it now. It's like a string of baubles, I see. It's like the string of popcorn, but it's just beads. I saw those at Hobby Lobby, and I thought they were... ugly. They were ugly. Okay. I, I think I've come to my final decision. This tree... 9.5 out of 10. I think this one has a lot of charm, it's very homey, it's very inviting. Like if I walked into a house and I saw this tree, I would think, oh, this is a house that has actual love. Only thing that would make this perfect is if... I do think it has like perfect amount of ornaments, but I think if the garland was like not red. Like if the garland was silver or gold, I think that'd be nice. Just a bit more contrast, because like I literally couldn't see the garland against the ornaments. 
9.5, very good tree. Okay. Guys, we have a minute left in that hive train, last chance. Now, we're coming near the end. Wait. Hold. Now, guys, which is the best tree? I wonder. I Mario wonder which is the best tree. Which is the best one? You know, I thought Keelan's was beautiful. Vengeance's was like out of a magazine. Kim's was pathetic. Which is the best tree? Put your votes in the chat right now. Whoever gets the most votes gets a Lambo. Asterisk in a million years. Which is the best tree? Yes, I know the text is cropped and I don't care. Number three, which was number three? The one on the bed, really, Max? You know which one I think is the best? God, I hate my stutter. You know which one I think is the best tree? Pause. Hype train success. Thank you. Thank you guys for the hype train. We got three. Wait, three sub. We got three subscriptions and 500 bits. Thank you to everybody who participated. Did you guys get any new emotes? Hype cute. Oh, wait, that is cute. It's a little Game Boy. That is cute. But thank you guys for contributing. Okay, now, which is the best tree, in my opinion? Wait, that's not it. <laughs> Ignore that bit. Ignore it. Ignore it. Ignore it. <laughs> Ignore. Okay, you know which is the best tree? All of them! They're all the best! They're all so good! But seriously, thank you everybody for contributing. Thank you for taking the time out of, the out of your day to submit a picture. Thank you guys. It was very fun. But guys, um, let's be honest. This was the worst tree. The, the circumcised tree was the worst tree. I'm sorry. One out of ten. I'd make it a zero, but the lights saved it. Okay, so... That was the Christmas tree roast of 2023. And you know what? I think it's only fair that you guys showed me your trees. And I roasted them. It's time for you to roast my tree. So this tree, we decorated together on stream. Two weeks ago, at the very beginning of December. So, I'm not gonna zoom out. I don't wanna show feet. <laughs> okay. So, what do you guys think of my tree? Be honest, I will not cry. Yeah, we're good. I will not cry. What do you think of my tree? Is it good? Is it mid? Here, I'll scoot over here. Four out of ten? Why? What? It's not a four. It's not a four out of ten. You guys like Mario, right? <laughs> Where are the leaves? It's all globes. What do you think of my tree? <laughs> Wait, I should hide the goal. There, now you can see a bit more. Ta-da. I think it's cute when it's fully covered. I like a fully covered tree. It's giving solar system. Hashtag educational. 7 out of 10. Too many baubles? No. I like it. I like it a lot. You know, I it's, it's literally leaning forward. I think it's hilarious. There's so many baubles, it's literally leaning. It's too short. Mm. 
No, it's not. For once, I'm taller than something. Six out of ten? No, you guys are so mean. It, okay, let me do a little pitch. It has so much variety. It has a Mario star that lights up. Little bell ornaments. A garland. Clear crystal ornaments. Bobbles that I made myself. The only thing that I would add would be like actual blown glass ornaments. Because right now it's just bobbles. You guys are so mean. I'm gonna go cry. <laughs> okay. So that was the roast. The Christmas tree roast of 2023. If you want to participate next year, um, just follow the channel. And subscribe. Make sure you do that too. <laughs> 1 out of 10 mentioning the Mario Star too much? Shut up. Dude, you got- I got so many comments asking where I got it. It must be good, right? Okay, thank you for watching. <laughs> Editor, cut now. You guys are back over here. Okay, so that was the Christmas trees. Thank you- seriously, thank you to everybody who submitted. Um, I was very scared to do any type of, like, viewer submitted activity. So thank you to everybody who participated. Um, the itinerary for today. We're gonna be decorating some Christmas ornaments. I have to end stream by 5 p.m. then. So I'm only probably gonna do two ornaments. Um, I have Naughty or Nice review, Winter Wishes, and Santa's List and Santa Watch. I'm probably gonna be able to stream Saturday and Sunday this week because big drama, my friend has plans. They double booked. So today we're gonna be do today we're gonna be doing ornaments the rest of stream. Add more to the tree. Also, I have a Christmas coloring book. I got this from Winko. I might do this like for 20 minutes if I have extra time at the end of stream. I should have started this earlier in the month. But I didn't, because I had to wait for my pens to come in. I got new pens. Okay. So guys. I need to set up my second camera. So, it'll take me a few minutes. Because, remember the POV we had for the candy cane stream? I want to get that POV for the ornament painting. So, I have to rearrange a little bit. I'm going to put on a little video. For the iPad kids in chat. Today I'm going to be beating... <laughs> Today I'm going to be beating... Stop talking. Okay. Oh, wait, should I? I'll play the Naughty or Nice video because it's holiday. Naughty or Nice quiz results finished. are officially closed, so if you did not submit, um, take the L. Okay. Let's see. So, face cam will be turned off because I'm, I'm putting my camera onto a different tripod, so... It'll be in a different location. I'm going to put a video on. Where is it? Oh, I did the wrong layer. Three. Like this. YouTube time. This layer, we're going to add a text layer. Wait, is that me? Okay. Um... Changing camera. Watch this. Oh. Changing camera. Why'd I put a comma? Changing camera. BRB. Ooh. <laughs> Confuse the people coming in. Okay, I'm turning off the camera. Nobody freak out. Sub go on stream, because why not? Wait, we're so close to hitting our daily sub goal. Ain't no way. We are one subscription away. Holy shit. That never happens. 
Okay. Where's peace? I'm on the screen. Look, it's me. It's me. Okay, let's see if this works. Hi, uh, this is Peace and from the Future. Ew. I made a quiz to see if my viewers okay, are I'm changing my camera. Wholesome, to see if they're going to be on Santa's um, if you want to subscribe to the YouTube this year. I made a there custom Google form with multiple choice, free response, and you can upload pictures. Wow. This video was filmed last year in 2022. It was a big success. So if you yourself want to fill it out this year, go ahead and click the link down below in the description. Thank you. Okay, back to the actual video. It is time for the Naughty or Nice quiz results. Have you been naughty or nice this year? Peace I too. Smile. This year's results Answers are will collectively really be shown on stream during Peace and 17's Naughty or Nice holiday stream. So answer truthfully and honestly. This is all for fun, so don't feel too bad if you haven't been a goody two shoes, Lamau. Now this will give you if guys some insight camera, on how I conduct myself as well. Do you hold the door open for others? I like to watch the door slam in their face. Yes, sometimes, but not always or never. When you're answering these questions, it's kinda like if there were a person <laughs> Oh, there. it's less. So if years. there were a person at the door behind me, I would always hold the door open. Why would I I'm pre edit not a psycho, okay? That'd be silly. It doesn't matter if they're a child or a grandma, I'll still hold the door open for them. So that's the nice <laughs> thing to do. Wait, you're so and funny. I would not like if somebody slammed the door in my face. Do you pre rinse your dishes? Yes. Mother who eat rice and do not pre rinse the dish after? I hate you. Moving on. Do you put your shopping cart in the rack or leave it in the parking lot when you're done? I've told this many times, but if I see a shopping cart that is in my path to get to the cart that is not inside the rack, I will grab it as well with my cart. So sometimes Why are we watching it right now? I'm changing my camera. Because I understand that when people don't put shopping Look, carts I'm in changing. the rack, you're making it harder for the worker. And the worker should not have to do that oh. extra work. It doesn't matter if you think I'm changing you are my making camera. them keep their job. The reason why there are shopping cart racks is obviously to make the cart rack person's job easier and also to make sure the parking lot it is takes safe long to, to drive change it. it. Like well, I have, have to or get my tripod reminded. Or blocking parking spots or in the road in public. Do you listen to music or videos with headsets on or play so everybody can hear? Well, now, this friendly. one was tricky for me because back in like early middle school, I was not you know, allowed streaming to use is headsets. A real job, my mom guys. would not buy me a pair. When I would walk to school, I would listen yes, to sir. my music from my phone in my pocket super loud. I don't do that anymore because I have headsets. I would have used headsets oh. if I was allowed to buy a pair myself. <laughs> And once I was able to buy a pair, Goodness. then I used headsets. Why? Because they're crazy. Also, we anyway, have to be very careful when I move everything. Yes, I use like, headsets now. Because I am reformed. I if am I better. break my I shit, achieved. it's literally game if over. If there's a jar of candy with one piece of chocolate left, do you offer it to the other person or take it first without asking? I asked first. Because I am bigger, I don't need more chocolate. And if I swipe that chocolate first, the other person's gonna think I'm fat. I'm being honest. Insecure for one second. If you need to cancel plans, do you tell the person you can't go in advance or wait till the last minute and flake without telling them? I will admit I'm a flake, but I usually give ample time before I flake. It's because I get in my own head thinking that, oh, this person doesn't like me or they don't want to do the project with me. I sometimes I feel like I can't commit putting the time and or effort into something. It's almost But I usually don't cancel last minute. So I've gotten a lot better about expressing my own personal boundaries when it comes to my time. Yo. Okay. Okay, that looks fine. Oh, the camera blocks the tree. That's kind of a no. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna rotate it that way. And then... time my work my effort and i don't flake as much anymore i think have you ever yelled at a service worker no 
yes, I'm ashamed of it, or yes, I'm proud of it. I have never yelled at a service worker. I've never yelled in public. Because to me, in order for you to muster up the courage to yell at someone, you have to think that that person is lesser than you. You have to think that that person is deserving to be screamed at. And I don't think anybody should be yelled at. I'm fine with being firm with people. Like, okay, I am sounding very firm right now. This is my my nagging, stern voice I'm using right now. The only time I've ever yelled was when I worked at the daycare because I was trained to scream and yell at the children, which looking back was like no very unethical. Granted, I did not receive any good training at that workplace, but you know, it's fine, that's in the past. That was when I was in high school. Don't show and then the other time I yelled at somebody was my sister because she almost started a fire in her room. Okay, yelling in public is cringe. Like you ever see the Karens who like film themselves being like absolutely psychotic and they think okay. they're in the right. <laughs> Pausing the video. Let's see how this looks. Hey. Okay, this this isn't too bad. This is fine. Oh wait, I'm too short. Or I'm too tall. Welcome to my studio. Okay, I think this is good. If you want to finish the video yourself, all you must do is subscribe to my YouTube channel. Watch it later. Okay, thank you for waiting. Um, I realized I should have run an ad while I was doing that, but I digress. We are an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for four ninety nine. But you can see my hands for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available. Okay, we're gonna do ornaments after the break. Thank you all for waiting. Okay, I gotta put socks on. Every <laughs> Okay, I wear them. Getting socks. Oh, somebody. So loud. I'm so sorry. Reset. I'm so sorry. I forgot to change the level. Okay. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Okay. Now we're going to be decorating some ornaments for our tree. I have... I have leftover ornaments from last year. They're just clear, filled with, like, random plastic. So last year, I painted and bedazzled around six ornaments. I'm gonna be doing two or three this year because I don't have much time because I have plans at five. I'll show my personal favorite because they're all kind of nestled in the tree. This is the best, I think, design-wise. I like it abstract, geometric, with gems. Very nice. Okay, so this year, I think I'm going to be using just paint pens because I want to focus more on the actual design of the ornament than gems. You know, gems are cute, but like half of them fell off. It got ratioed. <laughs> so we're going to be painting some of the ornaments that I have. Now, I must think of what I want to do. Okay, I think... Does anybody have suggestions for what I should draw on the ornaments this year? Because I know last year did patterns, but, like, I'd be down to do some iconography on these. Like, a character. Like, maybe a Pikachu would be kind of cute. I should probably get some paper, that way I can 
test out the markers. I don't think I've used these markers since literally last stream last year. So they might be like bad. I'm gonna grab some paper. that pony is. Wow. Okay. Let's test if these bad boys still work. So these markers are... Which brand? Hashtag not sponsored. Artistro. These are pretty decent acrylic paint pens. They do... They don't have too clean a line, they do bleed a little bit. But they're like on the lower end price wise. Oh yeah, they still work. I think doing one with bases would be kind of funny. Because this kind of looks like a weird nose shape. Well, this one's not activated. So to activate the paint pens, you have to hold down, and then just up and down, and then the ink will kind of pull down the nib. I remember in high school art class, the paint pens were my teacher's favorite medium, because he was really into graffiti. He never admitted if he did graffiti or not. Like, he never self-reported, but... He was very much more into, like, illustration than realism. And it definitely affected, like, my own personal style. Well, this is kind of like a blue evergreeny. And Blanco. Oh, this one's bleeding. Okay. Hmm. Since majority of the ornaments are white themselves, I'm probably not going to use the white paint. So this ornament is just filled with like very fine glitter and confetti. I'm not going to be opening the ornaments this year. I don't want too big of a miss. I think for this one, since this one has like a snow feather like texture, I kind of want to do fleur shapes. So a fleur is like those little metal swirly shapes you see on top of fences. I think they're French. Don't quote me on that. But they usually have a swirl and then kind of like a floral shape at the top. So I think I want to do that type of pattern for this one, since it kind of matches the texture of the inside. Or, since it's green, I think, since Fleur already have like a natural, like, rounded shape, I think doing it green would kind of look like trees. I think that'll be pretty. I'm just gonna freehand. Wait, I just realized since it's green, it's gonna look more like camo. Guys, enlist today. The carrier future of getting PTSD. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do like abstract blobby shapes. It, you know what this looks like? This looks like the swirl mirrors, which I think are ugly as brick. I saw this one TikTok from an interior designer saying that the trends of doing like squiggly mirrors 
for mushrooms is very reminiscent of like how a few years ago like horseshoes were really in like every single generation has their own little knickknacks that they like to collect and i'll never get it why is the outside of this bobble textured it looks like this one got smashed like it has sharp edges on it hi angie welcome in can we get some yo's hello Hope we're doing well, hon. Okay, I have to be careful because the paint does take like five minutes to dry. Ooh, what if on the top half I did light green and the bottom half I did dark green? Oh, you know what this could be? The blob shapes could turn into like hollies. I could go in with like a finer liner. I'll do that. That's personally why I love abstract art. Because you kind of just go with the flow and see what shapes and forms you can make. And then you kind of work off of that. Okay, so... Update. My sister got a job, right? And it's a really good job. You want to know how much she's making an hour? It's a union job. Which, we love unions. She's making twenty thirty an hour. $20.33. And that's starting wage. Insane. She's so lucky she got the opportunity. She just can't throw. Did you already roast the trees? Yes. I should update my title. <laughs> But yes, you can go back in the VOD, or I will be editing it for YouTube. Okay, so that's the top half done. I think the idea of turning the squigglies into hollies will look amazing. Okay, I just realized you couldn't see me <laughs> on screen on the second camera. Oopsie. Oh, decorating ornaments? Making ornaments is probably a better title. Okay. Making... I can never smell... <laughs> smell. I can never spell ornaments correctly. Peace I to... There we go. Now I'm no longer clickbaiting. <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, now that I look at this, I don't know if doing light and dark green on the bottom would be good. Ooh, I have a better idea. Watch this. We're gonna do light green squiggles on the whole thing. Little red circles on the more like rounder parts. Like, on the inside, and then tiny dark green dots in between the squiggles. Squiggles. Giggles. Sounding like giggles. Yeah, I'll try to do it on camera now. This is when it gets tricky, because the more you work, the less, the less surface area you have to, like, run your hand on. That's personally why I hate working with graphite, because it's so easy to smear your whole work. It's not worth the trouble. Or charcoal, I can't do it. Hey, considering I haven't used these markers for like a year, they're still like really juiced. We must watch XQC. The only time I watch XQC, like legit, is anytime he debates this on. And that's only when, like, Hassan screen caps <laughs> X's stream. Like, I don't think I could ever sit and watch an X stream. Oh, that was wet. Okay, now I have, like, <laughs> I have no room.
Looking back, I should have done this with the dark green, but it's too late. Okay. All of the base pattern work is done. It looks like a brain. It looks like the inside of my big brain. Dude, I can't wait to get more MRIs done. They aren't that bad. All you gotta do is lay still for like an hour. And if you move, they get mad at you. Time for the hollies. So I'm gonna do um, dots on the inside, like the larger parts of the swivels. Oh, I, I like have to run my hand on it. Because, like, when I hold a utensil, I have to hold it at a diagonal. Like, holding it like this is wrong. If you are past grade 2 and you hold your pinter like this, go back to kindergarten. Like, you gotta learn again. The red isn't as opaque. But you know what? It's okay. They kind of look like amoebas. And no, not amiibos. <laughs> I wonder why they're called amiibos. Like, the name... Is it, like, a fully original name? It makes no sense to me. You know what this could also be? This could be like abstract three-nosed reindeers. <laughs> but I love art. I love it so much that I paid 60000 for a degree. Oh wait, update. I don't know if I told you guys this yet, but... Back when um, Biden was pushing for like full student debt relief for anybody who took out a federal loan, that wasn't passed, right? But there were still some ordinances passed to make it easier for certain groups to get approved. So there was more funding for those who have government jobs, so like teaching or doctors to get debt relief. And also, they made it a lot easier for people who are disabled to get debt relief. So, how it works now is if you are currently on SSDI or SSA, you will basically automatically get your student loans forgiven. Keep in mind, this is for government, not private loans. So in order, and that's specifically for disabled people. So for that specific ordinance, that was allowed for like disabled veterans, people who are currently on or whoever gets on SSDI in the future, and for anybody that can prove they have a permanent disability that will last more than five years. So, technically my condition will last the rest of my life. I will be in, I will have a chronic pain for forever. So I applied under, um, you have a permanent disability. And guess what? It got approved, so. And I only found out about this last week, and I wanted to make sure, like, it was legit before I said anything. So, for my degree, it cost 60000 I got about 20000 in grants, which grants are a federal program to where they give low income, so brokies, um, like free money that they don't have to pay back to pursue higher education or uh, trade schools. But in order to get those grants, you have to apply for a FASPA, so like federal aid. Oh, I smeared some of the red, dang it. Anyway, so like, 
I got about 20,000 in grants because, you know, I'm brokey. First. I'm the first person in my immediate family to get a degree. Because my mom and my dad did not get a degree. Yay. Um, and then I took out about 25,000 of... Wait, no, my degree cost 50,000. I, mis I misspoke. Um, I took out 25,000 in federal loans. And then about 10,000 in private loans. So since I got approved for um, permanent disability, not through SSDI, my 25,000 of federal student loans is basically forgiven. As long as I can prove that I can't work for at least three years. There we go. That this looks ugly. <laughs> this looks so ugly. Oh no. I should have done dark green. What should I do now? I, okay. I think I might go in on some of the light green and cover it with dark green. That is something. It looks like a virus. <laughs> it looks like amoebas, like how they show what's on the petri dish. That's what this looks like. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in with some of the dark green. <laughs> Dude, how am I gonna save this? I went to art school. Okay, anyway, back to it. So basically, I got all of my federal student loans forgiven. As long as I can prove that I am, am unable to work for three years because of my disability. Which is mostly true because my condition will worsen over time. It's already gotten worse in the past year. I just don't talk about it much because, you know, I don't want to be sad posting on Twitter all the time. Um, yeah, okay. What I'll do for this design, I'm going to go over the light green but purposely do it messy so it looks like there's a little bit of overlap anyway tldr so my federal student loans got forgiven so the twenty-five thousand, which is pog you know because if that wouldn't have been forgiven i would have had to pay about 250 a month starting in january so next month i would have been cooked because since i've been applying for Disability, I'm not allowed to work. I'm not allowed to save more than 2000 So, like, I would not... Like, the current benefits I receive now would not cover my student loan payments. Um, so, since my federal loans got forgiven, all I have left to pay is my outstanding balance for my college. So, I still owe about 4000 for that. And that's, like, to get my diploma. <laughs> Because luckily, where I got my degree, I can request my transcript at any time, but for them to like physically give me my diploma, like the fancy plaque, I have to pay back the 4000 that I owe. I owed 5000 but I paid about 1000 this year. So I had to pay a minimum of 100 a month. Um, so, and then I have the remaining 10000 through a private loan, which I have to start paying in January. But that payment is only $120 a month. So, TLDR. I got very lucky and submitted my application for student debt relief because of my disability early. So that way it got processed in time by January because I got approved like two weeks ago. Um... I mean, it got approved two weeks ago, but I didn't get the letter in the mail until a week ago. Because, you know, postage be lacking. Um, so, yeah. Because, honestly, the, the threat, yes, the threat of paying back student debt is a huge stress for a lot of Americans. Because, for the majority, a lot of people take out the loans when they're, like, 17 or 18, so they don't necessarily know the gravity of what they're doing. And that was definitely me. And what is kind of interesting is the private loan that I still have to pay off is technically a parent plus loan. So technically it's under my father's name, 
and it only really affects his credit history. It doesn't affect me because technically I'm not on that load at all. Um, because how a lot of Parent Plus loans work is the parent takes out a loan and then like usually the parent and the child comes to a verbal or written agreement on who will pay the loan back. So like I verbally told my dad six years ago that I would pay back that 10000 which now has garnered $5,000 in interest. I'm cooked because it's been six years because for that private loan interest garnered the whole time I was pursuing education so you know even if I haven't talked to my parents in a year I still want to like pay it back because like imagine I don't and they get mad like I don't want drama and especially since my other loans got forgiven then I can like I can afford to pay the 150 a month I'll be fine I just have to farm more subs Guys, click Amazon Prime and subscribe. But, um, so yeah. That was, like, my Christmas miracle. Like, I opened the letter in the mail saying that my, my debt got forgiven, and I literally cried for, like, an hour. It was very emotional. Because, legit... If I would have had to pay my student loans in full, like, I would have probably gone homeless. Because there would be no way that my sister could help provide for that, and, like, I'm not allowed to work if I'm pursuing disability insurance, SSDI. And... So, yeah, I got very lucky. TLDR, if you, even if you aren't disabled, or if you don't feel like you're at the risk of, like, something happening, still know what resources are available in your local counties, um, bookmark your social security office, know where it is in your city, that way, if there ever is an emergency, because you never know if you'll lose a family member, or if you'll lose your job, and be at the risk of homelessness, like, always know what resources you are able to pursue if the worst happens. Okay, here's the... This looks a tad better with the dark green. It's still, like, really gaudy. I think I'm gonna let this one dry a little bit because I do have a lot smeared on my hand. I might fill in the background with the light green. I think that would look good. That looks better? I agree. I agree. <laughs> what I do from a distance is mostly green. Like, the red doesn't stand out too much. Yeah, we're gonna let this one dry for a little bit. Yes, yeah, so that's the update on my drama. Nothing crazy. Let's get the other one started. This one has little foam balls inside. I think for this one, I want to draw like holly leaves. I think that would be cute. So. I'm gonna go in with my dark evergreen. This one doesn't have too much paint. It's very thin compared to the other paint pens. Wait, if I'm gonna do holly, I should draw the, the actual berries first. Now when I'm drawing the berries on, I'm not doing a single line, I'm doing a slight overlap to give it a more rough look or texture. Cute. 
So this one, I don't think I want to have fully colored in. I want you to be able to see the globes through. Or not the globes, the... The balls. <laughs> also, guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, click follow. You get cool emotes and... You get to type in chat. Wow. I think I want this design to have some level of symmetry. So I'm going to do a holly on each of the four quadrants. Oh, that looks cute just like that. I smeared on the opposite end. Perfectly symmetrical. Actually, it's not perfect. <laughs> Almost perfectly symmetrical. Okay, I'm gonna do like an inverse design. That way, because these hollies are pointing down. I want the Harleys on the opposite ends to be pointing up. I wish I had a darker red. They look too bright. Like if I had a maroon, I think that'd be perfect. I wonder how else I can fill this one. I think just doing lines to kind of fill in the... Ooh, maybe gold. I'll do gold. Okay, this one's not dispensing. Really mad. <laughs> okay, it's legit not dispensing. What is going? Just be patient. Gold is kind of ugly. It looks more like gray. Yeah, it's not metallic at all. This one's ugly. I changed my mind. I'm gonna do green stripes. diamond shape.
I think I want to add some dots. I like the idea of adding organic and rounded lines next to more straight lines. I think adding dots along the outer edge of drawings makes it kind of look like it's stitched. Okay, I added dots along the outside of the lines I made. Since I added the lines, it kind of makes the hollies look like stalks of flowers. Or like ice cream cones. See, look. Flower stalk? Ice cream cone! Flower? Ice cream! It's cream so good, yum yum. Dude, I can't. I'm watching too much take towel. <laughs> I think I'm gonna fill in the holly leaves with a medium green. Just so I have a tad less negative space. And I don't want to fill it in with the evergreen because it'll be a bit too dark. Ah, oh, that looks good. Huge difference. I think I want to keep the actual holly berries clear though. Because since the berries take up a lot of surface area, I don't want it to be too filled in. I kind of like the look of the clear ornaments. Because on the tree, the clear ornaments, the light shines through them and it's really pretty. If I ever have like a big tree, I think I just want to get like clear or translucent color ornaments. Because the way the light reflects through them is really pretty. All the hollies are colored in. Now this one is like truly abstract. That looks good, thank you. I love when a picture makes another picture. Like an earlier side looks like a flower and then a cone. I'm 
I'm debating if I want to add lines that come up from the bottom in between the arrow point shapes I made. But I kind of like the empty space. I'm definitely someone who prefers simplicity over complexity. Because when you work with very little, it leaves a lot more open to interpretation. Because, <laughs> you know the cliche of like, abstract artists being like, This portrait that is just splatters of paint means a million things. Like, I hate when it's like, like posh like that. But I think the concept of making something out of nothing is a lot harder to do. Because it's very skill-wise a lot easier to learn how to copy like with realism art and like very hyper realistic portraits but it's a lot harder to do illustration and like truly know how form like strokes composition and like the shapes that you use come together to make an image You know, I'm just using the technical terms to sound a lot smarter than I do. I have an art degree. I think this one I'll pause for now. If I think of something I want to add, I will. And also, I feel like this simpler design makes more sense, because you don't want to have two full covers, that way you, you'll still see the little snowballs inside. And it makes sense to not have too much, like, drawing on the bottom, because it's already that's where the snowballs lay. Or maybe I'm just coping and don't want to do more work. <laughs> okay, we're going back to the virus. The virus ornament. I'm gonna fill in the background fully with the lime green. Full coverage. Now, you may be wondering, why am I using paint pens over an actual brush? Because using a brush on a non-flat surface, you have to contort your wrist in very not good ways that will, like, mess up or give you carpal tunnel if you don't do one. And like, since it's a bit later in the day, I don't want to break out the brushes. I don't want to break my wrist. Because even with- when I paint, I don't do realism. Because I'm not good at color mixing. My biggest trait when I paint is my- my control in sense of like how I actually manipulate the brush like I can hold a very straight line look watch this okay that one wasn't very straight watch this Wait, one, one more try okay that one's pretty straight my wrist control is pretty good because in order to have a straight stroke you have to move from your your ball joints <laughs> Saying B A double L so much today. Okay. Because when you move your whole limb, it's like the tool becomes an extension of your hand. Versus when you move your wrist, it's a lot more about like your finger control than your actual joint control. Yeah, low W. <laughs> 13 plus jet. Anyway, so like I have very good. I'm able to manipulate my limbs in a way to where I can have really precise strokes. Ladies. <laughs> so <laughs> okay, this looks a lot better filled in already. Here's one side, and then the other. Oh, that looks so much- This is giving like- This kind of looks like Rugrats. I don't know. Like 90s?
anyway, if you want to, like, learn and have better control when you draw, I would recommend getting into calligraphy, because calligraphy is all about consistency and how you hold your utensil, and then how you actually apply the utensil to your medium, so like paper. Because the reason why you may think you have bad handwriting in general is because your lettering is sloppy. And it's not that it's sloppy, it's your consistency in the actual shape of your lettering. Like, you know when you go to Trader Joe's and all the signs on the lettering look the same? Like all the A's look the same, all the B's are symmetrical. Or no, no, they're not symmetrical. Like, all the lettering looks the same. Even if the letters aren't the right shape, it still looks good because they have the same shape and form throughout. Like, it's very hard to mimic a computer, right? Because that's like a pre-rendered image. So calligraphy is just mastering consistency with how you use the utensil to get the same shape and form with your lettering. That's why if you're just starting calligraphy, I would first start with like literally pencil and pen. Just so you can like writing the same letter 10 times on a single line of your paper. And you can see how even the slightest shift in how you hold it or move your finger as you write can subtly or drastically change the actual look of your letter. So you just have to learn how to hold your utensil in a way that will allow you to become more consistent. I don't know, it sounds really technical, but j just practice. It's really interesting because you see so many like art tutorials online like on youtube or instagram and there is a little bit of gatekeeping which historically kind of makes sense because up until i think it's either the 18 or the 1900s like learning the arts was reserved for people of the higher class because um actual art material was expensive it was very hard to get pigments or paint so it was a very hard profession to get into if you were a brokey. So there is like an element of classism behind basic art. Like all the all the little 13 year olds saying I can't buy <laughs> saying they can't buy <laughs> you know copic pens. They're whining but you know supplies are a lot more accessible than they were like 50 years ago. Um, anyway, so historically art was kind of gatekept. That's why like a lot of people will kind of keep their techniques to themselves, which I think is totally valid. But I think what a lot of people don't like share is like the actual technique of how to use the tool. Because as I said earlier, even when you're doing calligraphy, like how you hold it in your hands and like how you manipulate your fingers or your wrist can change like the actual product. Like if I would have learned how to hold brushes properly when I was younger, I think I could be a lot better now. Because a lot of tutorials would be like, oh, this is how you like color mix or this is how you do the stroke. But if it, I think if it was a bit more clear on like how to actually hold the utensil, or how do you say it? Okay, I think the best way to explain it is you can only really see so much in like a video. So I think if there was a bit more insight into It's so hard to think and draw, <laughs> and then speak. Guys, streaming is hard. This is legit why I stopped streaming on the Peace and Art channel. Um, once I'm able to sell paintings again, like have orders, I'll probably paint the orders live. But I'm still debating if I want to do that because, like, 
obviously, like, everybody has a limited amount of brain cells. <laughs> like, in a non-mean way. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> you have limited brain power, so... Okay, I don't know how this works. I'm not a neurologist. Or a meteorologist. <laughs> like, if I'm giving... 20% of my brain to, like, speaking, then that's, like, 10 less brain cells for drawing. And I noticed any time I did an art stream, I was way too focused on, like, making little jokes that, like, my actual product suffered. Or, like, the speed in which I could do something suffered. So I think if I sell paintings, I'll probably make, like, an option. To be like, oh, do you want me to paint this for you live, or just mail it to you when it's done? I think I'll do that. Because I know some people like the aspect of, like, seeing their work being made in front of them. Like, I've seen in restaurants that have an open kitchen, or, like, the live streams or videos you see where it's just people, like, literally packing their order. They like feeling involved in whatever you're doing. It feels like they're part of the process. Okay, this looks a lot better filled in. It... Um, what's it called when you're scared of, like, little holes? Is it tryptophobia? Uh, trigger warning! <laughs> yeah, this looks a lot better now. The paint is still kind of patchy, but that's because when I did the light green, the, green, the dark green wasn't fully dry. My hand is all painted. Brain cells. What are those? <laughs> I like how drastically different these look. Like, wait. Imagine. <laughs> wait. Wait. Do these even fit in my ear? Oh, wait! Wait, this one's not fully dry. I have to go out later. Wait, this is kind of a look. Wait, it's Miss Frizzle. I'm giving Miss Frizzle hair and a pony, wacky shirt, huge earrings. I should seriously add educational to the tags. Okay. <laughs> Stupid bit. I mean, these aren't, like, too heavy. You could probably make these into earrings. I don't think if I want to add anything to these. If I had glitter glue, glitter glue would be so much fun. Because no shot I'm breaking out my glitters. Because glitter is a mess. But glitter glue? Holy. What time is it? Oh, I gotta go. I have to end stream by four. I realized, because, like, if I have to leave at 5, then I have to get ready at 4.30. Mm. I think this one is done. Like, this one, from a distance, looks like it's fully filled. This one has a lot of empty space. And I know it's intentional, but... I think I'm gonna fill in most of the hollies. I'm gonna leave a little bit of clear space. Or a little bit of blank space for the Swifties in chat. I really want to get into painting on glass. Because I think the idea of painting within an empty frame is like really cute. But the issue is... Glass is not soluble, meaning it can absorb liquid, because it's glass. 
it's not supposed to take in liquid like you don't want to get water in your home so when you paint on glass or plastic as well you don't get a fully opaque coverage there will always be like a little bit of splitting in your paint so it usually takes like three coats in order to get like a fully opaque image when you paint on glass and i think i don't know i, I, I haven't seen any tutorials on it but i bet if you sand it a little maybe it could help but sanding glass sounds scary so i want to try that yeah i've also seen some people do like paper cuts and do that inside a frame and i think that's really pretty because I think doing paper cut illustrations would be really fun. I was thinking about it, and like my long term goals in terms of art is to sell a product, which not necessarily art, but like a physical product that has my work on it. I think a tote bag would be really cute, or keychains, but I think a new goal. Like, have a product by the time I'm 30. That's my first goal. And I think by the time I'm 50, I'm halfway there. I got 26 years. But I think by the time I'm 50, I want to have some sort of, like, mini gallery that has, like, a little art shop in it. Because I think the idea of having, like, a mini gallery with having an artist rotate every one to two months and then having... Um, products that feature their art could be really fun and I think the most consumable part or form of art for a normie like a normal person who doesn't like art is cards I think cards like people buy random cards from Target I think having like doing collaborations to do like custom paper cut cards would be really fun and if I do rotating artists I could have like bi-weekly like little videos that like interview them and stuff i think that could be really fun but granted that's my goal for when i'm 50. i want to have a place because my goal like two years ago was just to have a studio space to have like some type of independent publishing company or illustration studio to where i could work with other people and that is still like a goal but I think the idea of having a place to where I can feature people's work would be really fun. So that's my goal by the time I'm 50. I want to have a little shop that has little pretty pictures in it. Because I live in a very artsy city. And I think that could do well here. Granted, I don't know if I'm going to be here till I'm 50. <laughs> and I want to stay in Washington forever, I guess. But you know what? I wouldn't mind it. Washington is pretty chill. We're libbed up, but it's pretty chill. You know what else is actually not chill? Watching ads. Because guys, we are two hours in the stream. So it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad previewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. After the ad, we're gonna wrap up, because I gotta go. I'm getting dinner with my sister. So get some water, get a snack, I'll see some of you guys in a few. I don't think there's anything else I want to add to this one. I kind of like the simplicity. I don't know if I like the hollies filled in though. It kind of looks stupid. But you know what's good about ornaments? Is that on the tree, it's not just about one single ornament. It's about all of them together. So it's fine if it's not fantastic. Okay, so these are my ornaments for 2023. We have abstract hollies. They kind of look like roses. Wait. And then... Shiptophobia. 
This one looks like moldy ham. <laughs> oh wait, moldy bread! It's got so many holes in it! Okay, <laughs> let's put them on the tree. <laughs> It's kind of hard to find a place to put them. My tree's kind of over decorated, apparently. There we go. The end. <laughs> okay. Um, I know short stream, short stream. I forgot to mention earlier. The reason why I stream late today is because our dryer broke on Sunday. And we had to wait for maintenance to come in, but they didn't know when they were going to come in. So they were supposed to come in like this evening, but they came in at like noon. Or like 11 so right before stream started and our walker is upstairs like it's very loud when they're fixing it and apparently it was just the lint vent had to be emptied out so thankfully nothing internally was broken that's why i was late okay so I think I will wrap it up here for today. Short stream. Don't worry. I have more planned for this week. We still have Winter Wishes, Banger Stream, So Many Jokes, and Wishes Granted to You Guys at Home, Making a Gingerbread House, and yes, you guys will be able to destroy the house like last year. Not your nice quiz results. And there's a little surprise at the end of that stream. Riding Santa's naughty or nice list. We're going to be once again looking at Chatter's logs. If you want to participate in that stream... Oh, the way I'm going to do it is if you want your logs reviewed during the live, you can use your channel points, so you have to be there if you want to be exposed. Or it's to all the current subscribers. If we don't have enough people redeemed during the live. And then, Santa Watch 2023 on Sunday. Late night stream. Late night with Peason. And then I might stream Christmas morning? Possibly. Maybe. It depends on if I'm, like, tired or not. Because, like, I think an early morning cooking in the kitchen Christmas morning stream would be cute. Okay, that's the plan for the rest of the week. I'm gonna be able to stream tomorrow. So Thursday, Friday... Saturday and Sunday I'll be live. So make sure if you're following, you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss those streams. And if you aren't following, um, click the button. It's free. You get emotes. Okay. Now, let's do calligraphy. Because we did get a few resubscriptions and bits. Oh wait, I didn't add Keelan's ornaments to the tree. I'll do that now. I also need to grab more ornament hooks. have been retrieved. We had a 500 bits, so...
Two more. Thank you, Keelan, once again for the 500 bits. I appreciate it. You guys know the drill. Donate to the channel and write your name or use your channel points. I love the art. Thank you. Welcome in, Beatles. Can we get some yo's? Hope we're doing well today. Wait, you mean the art back here? Ain't no way. Thank you. <laughs> Did I forget I have the paintings back here? If you want more info on it, exclamation point art in chat. Once again, thank you to Kobobo for the 17-month resub. That is my favorite number. <laughs> thank you for your continued support. Wait, this is Super Mario 3D World. Thank you to Mac for the 19 month resub. Almost 20. And my second favorite number, 21. So close. So thank you for your continued support. With Prime! Yay! I think this is a Mori. Yes? Yep, it's a Mori. Dude, I really want to go back and play it again. 
I know I keep saying that, but maybe I will. Okay, this pet is dead. That is a doorknob. Thank you to Ethan for the nine month reset. Finally, a sunflower badge. Thank you for your continued support. Even though I legit think all your other resubscriptions were gifted. Either way, thank you for the prime. Pogs. Okay, one more name left. If you want me to write your name, all you must do is use your channel points right now. Thank you to Keelan for the 500 bits earlier. I appreciate it. You added five more crystals to the tree. Thank you. Last call. If you want me to write your name, all I must do is use your channel points. Last call. wrap it up here for today thank you all for watching any chatters lurkers thank you for hanging out we did the roasting christmas trees that was really fun a lot of the bits i had pre-written so it was kind of fun to do that for a live and then we did two more ornaments on the tree okay i know short stream don't worry i'm gonna be able to stream thursday friday saturday and sunday this week every day before christmas the five days of peace and miss because you miss me. Okay. Um, before I go, make sure if you're fo not following, follow. It's free to follow. Click the button. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is youtube.com slash at peace and 17. You'll get weekly stream highlights. Wow. 
And you can subscribe to the Clips channel, which is youtube.com slash at peace and 70 clips for daily YouTube shorts and clips from past dreams. Go subscribe now if you want more content. And I know today was a viewer submitted stream, so I might be doing more in the upcoming months. So make sure you are following all of my offline social media. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. They are all linked in the chat. Um, in the future, if I have the power to like vet submissions the same day, I will. But for at this point, I don't have mods, so I have to pre-vet everything. So if you want to participate in this type of stream, like the tree roast or um, the winter wishes, please make sure you're following my offline social media. That way you're able to submit preemptively. Also, do I have a new badge? Wait. I have a new badge. I'm a two-year sub. It's a cherry blossom. That's so cute. Okay. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey, go for hanging out. Once again, thank you to Keelan, Ethan, Mac, and Colbobo for supporting the channel today. You guys got a level two hype train. Very nice. Thank you. Enjoy your new emotes. Bye, Angie. Bye, everybody. I'll see you guys when I see you. Bye. Also, no raid, but Emmy Beep E M I B E E F is going live on our Twitch at like probably eight. So if you want somebody to watch, go watch her. I hope you guys are enjoying your winter breaks. Enjoy time with friends and family if you're able to. And if you have to work on holiday, um, just guilt your friends into getting you more presents. That always works. Okay, bye for real.